Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to start with the new concept that is the epsilon NFA. So this is the symbol of the epsilon and we are going to discuss about the epsilon NFA. So now epsilon NFA is uh, very much similar to the NFA except that the input symbol can be epsilon also and uh, the transitions can be shown using the epsilon symbol also. So if you remember that we already have discussed about the NFA and in the NFA we have seen that it is a five tuples, set of states, set of input symbols, start state, set of final state and the transition function then. So how the transition function was defined in the NFA? It was defined as uh, Q cross sigma that maps to one of the states in two raised to the power Q. So we have taken an example to understand this, that let's say we have uh, A and B, two states, the set of states are A and B only, and uh, the input symbols are, let's say, zero and one, fine. So the possibilities of Q cross sigma is uh, that A with zero, then A with one, then B with zero, and B with one. So if we have to, show the transition of A with 0, transition of A with 1, transition of A B with 0 and transition of B with 1. So since there are four states, it can map to any of the states. It means it may not map to any of the state. It means it may be undefined or it may map to A state or it may map to B state or it may map to A B state. Okay, so it can go to A and B both, both the states. So if I am defining this Q cross sigma, so it can go to either of the states in 2 raised to the power Q. Okay, so since we have two states, so 2 raised to the power Q means 2 squared means there will be four possibilities. Similarly, if I have, let's say, the let's say three states, not only A, B, but let's say we have A, B and C also. In that case, the possibilities would be that I can map to phi, I can map to A, B, C, or I can map to A, B, or BC or AC state or ABC state. So there are eight different possibilities of the states wherein I can move to by taking any of the symbol as an input. So the transition, if we have three uh, states, it means two raised to the power three, there will be eight possibilities of the states wherein I can move to. So this was the NFA and we already have discussed this in depth in the previous lectures. The epsilon NFA is also defined using this five tuples. So it means Q, sigma, Q0, set of final state F and del function means that the transition function. The only difference would be in the transition function, which says that uh, in the epsilon, is, so epsilon is also to be included in the input symbols. So we already have sigma, which is set of the input symbols. And if I include an epsilon also along with the input symbols, then Q cross this should map to one of the states in 2 raised to the power Q. So uh, the del function in the epsilon NFA is defined as sigma union epsilon. This should map to one of the states in 2 raised to the power Q. So what does this mean that uh, in the same example, the set of the input symbols that we have taken is zero and one. If I take a union of this with the epsilon symbol, so this actually becomes zero, one and epsilon. It means I will show the transition of any of the state with zero, one and epsilon also. So the transition with the epsilon will also be defined along with the transition with the input symbols 0 and the 1. So we will take an example to understand this. Let's say we have an NFA which is defined as A with the 0 symbol. It remains at itself with the epsilon. It goes to state B and then with 1 it remains at itself and with the epsilon it goes to state C. And on getting 0 and the 1, it remains at itself. So this is the epsilon NFA. 
here you can see that uh, state A on getting a symbol epsilon can move to state B. Similarly, state B on getting a symbol epsilon can move to state C. So epsilon is taken as an input symbol here also. It means that the epsilon, we will have to show the transition with the epsilon also. Now epsilon means the empty string. It means the null string, you can say, or the empty string or the empty symbol. Now, if I say that A on getting a epsilon symbol remains at A state only. So this is true. It means that any other state by getting the epsilon symbol will actually map to the same state. It means the transition function is defined like this. It means A on getting epsilon remains at A, B on getting epsilon remains at B, and C on getting epsilon remains at C. So these are the things that we actually need to remember. Along with this, there is a concept of the epsilon closer. Meaning of the epsilon closer is that uh, what are all the states that I can reach by only taking a symbol epsilon. So let's say I'm considering the epsilon closer A. So I will have to find out what are all the states that I can move to by only getting a symbol epsilon. So here it is visible that uh, by taking a symbol epsilon, I can remain at A state. Now on getting a symbol epsilon, I can move from A to B state. This is already defined in the transition. So this is the transition which shows that I can move to state B by taking a symbol epsilon. Now if I can reach to state B by taking epsilon, I can reach to state C also by getting an epsilon. So it means that I can reach to C only on getting epsilon. I again repeat that. How did we reach to C? Since the transition of A with the epsilon symbol was leading us to state B. Now state B on epsilon symbol is leading us to state C. It means that I can reach to C also from A only on getting epsilon. So that's why I said that the epsilon closer A has actually led to state C also. So these are the three states wherein I can reach upon getting a symbol only epsilon. And I hope this, uh, this is clear to you. And uh, if it is so, I can move to uh, conversion of the epsilon in FA to DFA. First, we will understand how to convert the epsilon in FA to NFA. And then based on the questions, we will convert that to the DFA. So, in this question, I'll take only the NFA. I hope you already have an idea about how to convert the NFA to the DFA that you can do by yourself also. So now let's say I have to draw the equivalent NFA for this epsilon NFA. So what is the procedure? The procedure says that I have the symbol A for which I have to show the transition with zero and then I have to show the transition with one. Okay, so for this, I will consider that I will first compute epsilon closer of A and then I will see what all states I can go with the symbols in the epsilon closer on getting a zero and I will again compute the epsilon closer of all the symbols that, that I got for the transition with zero. So this will be the full step. This will be a three step process. Let's first try to compute the epsilon closer for A so that uh, we already have computed. So what are all the states that I can reach to by only getting the symbol epsilon? They are A, B and C. Now A on getting zero, you will refer to the epsilon and effect given on the right hand side. A on getting zero remains at A state only. Now B on getting zero, this is undefined. So you're, uh, I'm writing phi and C on getting zero remains at state C only. So you can see that the there are three things that we have defined here. First thing is that we have computed the epsilon closer of A, those are A, B and C. Then A on getting zero moves to A state, B on getting zero is undefined, C on getting zero is C. And then I will compute the epsilon closer of these symbols once again. So you know that the epsilon closer of A is A, B and C. We already have computed this. 
epsilon closer of phi is undefined and the epsilon closer of c means what are all the states i can reach to by only getting a epsilon on c so c will remain at itself on getting epsilon so what is the outcome of this that this is a b and c and then a c again so you should take the union of all these in order to write the values in the final nfa table so if you take the union of a b c and c so you will get a b and c so finally we are writing the uh, final transition table so a b and c are the states to which i can move on getting a symbol zero okay if it is not clear it will be uh, getting clear in subsequent steps let's say we are computing the transition of a with 1 so how will we compute that first we will compute the epsilon closer then i will compute the transition with 1 and then i'll again compute the epsilon closer so here the epsilon closer of a is already defined this is abc these are all the symbols that are these are all the states wherein i can move to only getting uh, by only getting epsilon now a on 1 is undefined b on 1 is defined and it reaches to state b and then c on 1 remains at itself fine now we will compute the epsilon closer of these symbol so phi there is no meaning of computing the epsilon closer of phi so for b the epsilon closer will be b and c in the diagram also the nfa diagram it is clear that b remains at itself with epsilon and b moves to c state also with the epsilon closer and for the epsilon closer of c this is only c we already have computed this c only remains at itself by getting a symbol epsilon so the union of b c and c will be b c so that i can say that uh, a on getting a symbol one only moves to state b and c so we have defined the epsilon closer on a then we will define the epsilon closer on b so since we already have computed that the epsilon closer of b is b and c so b on getting zero is undefined c on getting zero is defined and it uh, remains at itself there is no meaning of uh, computing the epsilon closer of phi so the epsilon closer of c is c itself so i'll say that the state b on getting a symbol zero goes to state c similarly we will compute the epsilon closer of b which are b and c and then b on getting a symbol 1 remains at itself and c on getting a symbol 1 remains at itself you know that the epsilon closer of b is b and c and the epsilon closer of c is c only so if you get the union of b and c it will be bc fine so transitions from b is also defined now i'll move to the transitions with c so epsilon closer of c is only c c on getting a zero will remain at itself and c epsilon closer of c is c only now for uh, the transition with one the epsilon closer of c is defined as c only then the if you get a symbol one at c you remain at c state only and the epsilon closer of c is c so this uh, we are moving like this first we have computed the epsilon closer of c then the movement of c or the transition of c with one remains at itself and then we are computing the epsilon closer of this symbol which is c only so c on getting zero or one remains at itself so this is the transition table final transition table for the nfa now since we already have defined this let's uh, draw the nfa for this now a is the start state we'll define the final final state later and uh, b is the another state and c is another state now a on getting zero moves to itself and then a on getting zero moves to b state also and a on getting zero moves to c state also now a on getting b moves to b and c so i can write it like this 0 comma 1 and it reaches to state 
C also. Now B on getting a symbol zero moves to state C. B on getting a symbol one remains at itself and it moves to C state also. So we are writing zero comma one here. Now state C on getting a symbol zero or one, it remains at itself. Fine. Now let us define the final state. So this is actually, this should uh, actually be remembered as a concept that if we can reach to the final state only by getting the symbol epsilon, I will say that this, that state is also final state. For example, in this NFA, you can see that C is a final state. Now I can reach to C from B only by getting epsilon. So it means that B will also be the final state. Similarly, the state A, I can reach to C only by getting epsilon. How come A with epsilon reaches to B and B on epsilon reaches to C? It means that I can reach from A to C by only getting a symbol epsilon. So I'll say that the symbol A is also, or the state A is also final state. So here A, B and C, all these are the final states. So in the NFA also, I should also mention that these three states are the final states. So I hope the concept of the Epsilon NFA is clear to you. In the subsequent lectures, we'll see more examples related to the Epsilon NFA. Thanks for watching.